So the difference between hot and cold, hot expand, cold contract, right? Very simple. So if you have hot drinks into, for example, after you have a meal, we drink a green tea. Don't forget to book a free discovery call. If you need help to fix your problem, just click the link below. A Chinese tea, right? Why do we drink green tea? Because the tea is hot and warm. It washes any uh, oil or anything that stuck into your esophagus into your stomach, all right? And it helps you to expand the vein and the arteries and allow a better blood flow, you see? But it's not all the time hot, but it's not okay. all the time cold. Depend on the situation, you see? see? And when you eat hot food, cooked food, and the hot food already cooked, it's softer, easy to bite, easy to digest, and the stomach will digest it much easier, and it comes out of the stomach faster. While cold food will stay in the stomach longer, it might stuck inside your stomach, and that's an issue, right? And you don't want all this bloating and stomach issues or constipation or diarrhea that it might affect you. So that's why 80% of the food that we eat are mostly hot, 20% will be cold. Mm. So that's how we, 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 we uh, in a natural method, uh, help tell us to do that. Regarding our food, depends on individual and what is right and wrong, then we have to look into it deeply. Some people might be, as I say, allergic to this, you can't do that. Some people might be allergic to peanuts, we can't take peanuts, right? Or lactose intolerance. So we have to look at that before we give them the food plan. We can't just give, oh, eat this, eat this, eat this, and be healthy. It's not going to work like that. Is it? So we look into everything in very details.